I just got through picking up my nuts. <laughs> hey y'all, I've been outside scooping up my nuts by the handfuls. If you're wondering what kind of nuts they are, they're actually these. Box full of acorn nuts. Yeah, I thought about doing uh, this. Uh, I've never actually made anything with acorn nuts before. I tried to deal with uh, uh, leaching the tannic acids out of them, like tannins, something like that, before. I just never, I just was trying to see if it worked, you know. But basically what you got to do is, is uh, acorns have a high concentration of tannins. Squirrels can eat them and other animals, I guess, but they're bad on us if you eat very many of them. You can do all kinds of stuff. Indians just do all kinds of stuff with acorns. But basically what you do is you got to leach out the tannins in there. And the way you do it is you basically just keep, you can do the boiling method, which is basically you, you crack them open, you get the, the nut meat out, put them in water, boiling water, and you keep boiling, you keep pouring out the, when it turns brown, you pump, dump it out, and you keep filling it up, keep boiling, blah, 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 blah. It's quicker. So they say the best way to do it is to leach it out. And this is what I was doing before. Just You just basically put it in cold water, let it sit there for a day, you dump it out, sit there for a day, you fill it up, you know, you keep doing it until it's basically clear. That's what I'm going to try doing. Of course, it'll take a long time. It, it could take a five, six weeks, I mean, excuse five or six days or more. It just depends. But uh, the first thing you got to do, though, is, is you got to wash your nuts. You want to get all your, you know, dirt and grime off your nuts. I don't know if you really have to soap up your nuts, but it probably wouldn't hurt. I mean, just probably just rinse them off real good, get your nuts pretty clean. Then you're going to crack your nuts open. And uh, that's what's time consuming is you got to go through them and you got to, uh, first you look at them and make sure there's, you don't see any holes in them or they're cracked. If they got little holes in them, that usually means there's some kind of weevil, worm, something in there. Just toss them. If they're cracked, toss them. But then you crack them open and you get the meat out. And you can do it different ways. You can just smash a bunch of them and then pick out the shell, whatever. Or you can do them one at a time, kind of like with a nutcracker, you know, crack your nuts and get the meat out. I don't know which way I'm going to do it, but first off, I've got to go wash my nuts. So uh, I'm going to show you washing my nuts. best way to do these things most of the time, you know, is just uh, sit in front of the TV, whatever. I don't know, whatever you're doing. Just go through them, crack your nuts. Like I said, it'll, it, this video will probably take a while to do, so... I will edit it to where it looks like it's being done really quick. Let's get started. Let's go in the kitchen and wash my nuts. Okay, so yeah, we're going to walk in here. Sorry, it's dark probably here. Uh, we're going to walk in here to the kitchen. Probably can't even see me. Hang on a second. <laughs> ah, maybe that's better. Uh, we're going to come in here in the kitchen and uh, scrub down my nuts. Get one of my fine... I find blue balls up. Blue blue balls. Blue balls. Oh, blue balls. <laughs> haven't haven't done the dishes. You just have to live with it. Drop one of my balls in the sink. So now we have a, a bunch of balls here. Yeah, I'm not gonna use any soap or nothing. I don't think that's really necessary. But basically I'm just trying to get the dirt and you know, you know if there's like any bird crap or anything like that on there. Also from what I've read the floaters, if you get in the water, the floaters are no good. Apparently there's something wrong with their nut meat. We're going to pick out the ones. Oh, yeah, this is a really close up. <laughs> so we're going to pick out the ones that are floating. Toss them in the box again and just toss them away. Probably do that a few times. It looks like they're all settling back down now. Let's drain that dirty water off. I think that's probably good. Don't you ladies wish that your uh, your men would uh, wash their wash their nuts that good? So now I'm just going to spread my nuts out onto the cookie sheet and let them dry out. I got somebody coming in the door. Okay, as you can see, I've spread my nuts out. Now what you, a good time to do is just go through and pick out the ones that are, that you can visually see that are cracked. Go ahead and get those out of your way. See how that is right there? Now see that? That's one of the little worms. That's it. I'm going to uh, 
let these dry out, then I'm going to pick out the worst ones, the bad ones with the stuff in it. And next procedure is cracking your nuts. Okay, later. I decided to put a fan blowing down on my nuts. Try to dry my nuts out a little faster. Thought I'd add that. Cracking my nut meat. since my uh, let's see I think I yeah I think I last part I was uh, blowing on my nuts <laughs> tonight I'm just gonna sit here I've got a bowl full of nuts and uh, a nutcracker it's kind of a crappy one but I mean I guess it works and I'm gonna sit here and inspect my nuts and crack my nuts and get the nut meat out Probably gonna take a while. I'm just gonna give you a little short little clip of me sped up, cracking my nuts. One other thing I was gonna tell y'all. One of the first times I ever heard about or knew about or whatever about using acorns. I used to, when I was a kid, young kid, I used to like reading a lot of outdoor books and stuff. I can't remember the names of them now. I, there was an author, I can't even remember his name anymore. But yeah, he wrote a bunch of kind of like outdoor books and stuff. Actually, one of, one of them was the guy was doing photography. And it always kind of got me interested in doing photography. But anyway, uh, which I never did photography. But, but it, except for now, I'm, I'm, you know, messing with the camera now. But anyway, the one I read was this one. I, and I actually have this book, My Side of the Mountain. Uh, it's a kid's book. I mean, you know, I, I think I got it when I was like 10, 12, something like that. But it's about a kid. Lives up in the Allegheny Mountains area. I don't know, he's like 14, he leaves home. He wants to live out. They got some, I think it's some grandfather part of, owns a part of a mountain or something. I don't remember exactly the whole story, but it's been a long time since I read it. But uh, he basically goes up there, leaves home, leaves a note, or whatever, basically kind of runs away, but says he wants to live outdoors or whatever. And he goes up there, basically with just some stuff, and... Uh, they actually made a movie on it too. The movie was kind of stupid, but you know. But anyway, but he goes up there basically, kind of have a little bit of hard problems at first, but then he starts getting into it, and he basically finds a tree. He kind of burns out the inside of it. it's a big old tree. And he basically fixes it up inside of where he, and he lives inside the tree. And uh, anyway, but he talks about making, collecting acorns and making acorn pancakes or something like that. That was the first time I'd ever heard about it. And so it always kind of piqued my interest in it. So I, I, I've kind of read about it over the years. I just never had messed with it. But anyway, but I just thought I'd tell you a little quick story if you're even interested in it. But anyway, now I'll get back to cracking my nuts. <laughs> video over that time uh, I've been occasionally cracking and uh, removing the nut meat out and uh, I got that much so far I don't know uh, I don't know if it's probably a pound pound and a half maybe of delicious nut meat I just been cracking it I, I work on like maybe an hour watch a TV you know, you know an hour or so anyway but anyway I did that uh, probably that's probably about four hours worth of work probably getting the delicious nut meat out uh, so what I'm gonna do now and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna wash my my nut meat and uh, then I'm going to uh, decide because I think I've read this somewhere one time before uh, about uh, getting some cheese cheesecloth and uh, putting in cheesecloth that way you can soak it you can soak your nuts uh, in the cheesecloth, then you can just basically take it out and squeeze your nuts, 
and squeeze out the water out of your nuts. So yeah, so that way I can squeeze my nut meat and then I can put it back into clean water and let it soak again. Keep doing that. I figure that maybe probably is better than just letting it soak and pouring off what I can. This way I can actually squeeze, wring it out. Like, wring out your nuts, man. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna show you that process real quick. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, wash off my nuts. Because uh, I didn't, after I took them out of the shells, I didn't uh, wash off any stuff. And you can see there's a lot of crap in there. So uh, I'm going to uh, try uh, draining off a lot of that junk first. Without losing my nuts. How yellow my nuts are. Does that mean my nuts are jaundice? I have jaundice nuts. So now to uh, get some of this cheesecloth. I've never used cheesecloth before, so I don't know. I assume you just cut off some of it and wrap your nuts in it. We'll get a few layers of cheesecloth. Dump my nuts in. There. Now I can pick up my nuts no water on my nuts right now. I'm gonna do another layer of that so I can have plenty of cheese calls wrapped around my nuts. I'm gonna kinda leave my nuts kinda loose there. That way the water can penetrate them good. Okay, I've got me a nice long tie so I can Wrap it around my nuts a couple of times, and then tie my nut sack off. You're gonna put some water in there, and now you're gonna soak your nuts. Now what we're gonna do is let my nuts soak. It's gonna leach out the tannins in there. You're gonna keep. Filling it up, rinsing it, you know, let it soak till the water's bent and you turn, turn it off. Wring out your nuts, fill it up with some more cold water. And you can only keep doing that until basically it's clear water after, you know, you put it in there and let it sit for, I guess, a few hours. And if it's still clear, then your nuts are good to go. From that point, then we're going to figure out, I got to uh, roast my nuts, basically. And uh, then we're going to probably grind, grind them up uh, and figure out what we're going to cook with my nuts. Well, it's been a week, about, yeah, I think that was last Sunday, this is Sunday again, that I've been leaching my nuts. I've been taking them in and out of the water several times a day, and it gets brown, brown and pour it out, put a strainer, and put my nut meat back in the other one. I had them in a, uh, the way you've seen it in the last video, I put them in a uh, cheesecloth, and uh, but after a while, about... Two couple days ago, it was getting so tore up that uh, it wasn't really working real good. So I just dumped them out into the water and uh, just been straining them. They've pretty much gotten to where now it's pretty clear. I mean, it's mostly clear there. I believe my nuts are uh, leached out real good. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna strain them out again, and uh, I'm gonna spread them out onto a cookie sheet and I'd let them dry out. Then, uh, uh, I think I'm gonna put them under a fan or something. Uh, I may put them in the oven. If somebody said, uh, I read somewhere where you can yeah, put it in like a warm, let them dry, dry out and uh, for a little while. Then you roast them before you can eat them. So, I'm gonna spread my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strain my nuts and then I'm gonna spread them out. Here we go. Now I'm going to rinse my nuts one more time. Shake my nuts real good. It's 
good to have good self-care of your nuts. Spread your nuts out evenly. Now I'm going to let my nuts, I think I'm just going to let them sit here on the counter. I'm going to put a fan on them and let my nuts dry out for a little bit. It's important that you dry your nuts really good. You don't want wet nuts. I'm going to let them dry for a little bit and then I'm going to roast them in the oven. But when I seen, it says to roast them at 350 for about an hour. That seems like an awful long time, but we're going to try it and see what I may have to take about. I seen somebody said 15 to 20 minutes. So, so. There's not a lot of information on your nuts. I mean, there's a lot of information, but apparently, you know, there's different size nuts. You know, I mean, everybody's got different size nuts. Some nuts are big and some nuts are small. I have pretty small nuts. My nuts will probably cook a lot quicker than somebody who has great big nuts. I've seen some that are like this big, you know, big old nuts. My little nuts are like this big, you know, and then they're chopped up or busted up. So, yeah, I don't think it's gonna take very long to cook my nuts. And I got to thinking, you know, I've said nuts uh, quite a few times in this video. I was wondering if one of my subscribers or somebody might count up how many times I say nuts. Maybe I'll do it in editing, I'm not sure. But uh, I may do it up, I may, I may count them all, and then uh, I'll see if whoever gets the closest. I'll send you an acre. <laughs> Okay, it's been a couple hours with well, the fan blowing on my nuts. They are pretty dried out. Now, I'm going to put them in the oven and roast my nuts at 350 degrees. I'm going to try doing it for about 15-20 minutes to see how they turn out. I guess. Maybe longer. I don't know. This is a trial by error thing. <laughs> At some point, you should open your oven and kind of jiggle your nuts around a little bit. It's important that you let your nuts roast evenly. Okay, it smells like my nuts are probably done now, so I'm going to remove them from the oven. They've been in there approximately 40 minutes. Delicious. Nice dark brown nuts. Now we're going to let them cool for a little bit. Well, I've let my nut meat cool off a little bit, and now I'm going to try one of my nuts. See what they taste like. Got a nice big one here. Mm. Kind of a nutty taste, I guess. Not bad. I mean, not as good as a cashew or something, but our peanut, but they're okay. Anyway, now I'm going to try to grind up my nuts. You can, you can just eat your nuts like this. Say so you can make a trail mix, junk like that with it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to grind mine up in my blender and uh, try to make it into like a flour. They say you can actually make a coffee substitute with this. I don't know, y'all can look up all that kind of junk if you want to. Different recipes or something, if you decide to do this. I was like, I'm gonna do the, make it into a flour, and uh, I may try to use it on some recipe in the future. I'm not sure, whatever. But probably not on this video. Let's grind up our nuts and see how it looks. So, first thing I'm gonna do is pour my nuts in here. I'm gonna do a, I'm just gonna pour my nuts in there a few at a time. See how it works out here. Let's pour a few more nuts in there. And let's pour the last of our nuts. Let's shake our nuts around a little bit. 
You know, it does kind of smell like a coffee. Okay. Nice powdery nut. Let's pour it back into the bowl. Let me get all that good nut meat out of here. As you can see, it's like a flower. Turn this down where you can see it a little better. It's like a flower. It smells a little bit like a coffee. Some type of, like a nutty, kind of, kind of like a nutty coffee, I guess. I'm going to try tasting a little bit of this. Yeah, nutty. It needs some flavoring. Probably add some salt and stuff to it. But, uh, but yeah, uh, look up recipes for it if you decide to make something. That's what I'm going to do. They say you make like pancakes. I'm a, I think you put a mixture of this with some flour and stuff, make pancakes. I may try doing that. I may make a video on that. But hopefully I don't die from this. <laughs> well, anyway, if you enjoy, you know, watching me deal with my nuts, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that like button. Helps out my channel. And uh, be sure and share it. And be sure to hit that bell notification so you get all my fine videos. It's that thing that goes ding, ding, ding. I guess that's it for now. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.